a lot of people get a bit overwhelmed when they hear or they see all the things that they need to learn in the journey of caring for their loved ones. We talk about like that, that you know, the all of the providers and the pharmacists and all of these people who are working together to try and help the patient or loved one. Um, but we're as carers, we're as much a part of that team as anyone else. We are on sort of equal footing um, because we are there. One thing that I realize really helps is to be able to come up and be open about the carer's level of health literacy. So if they can just right from the beginning explain that I have limited information about this, but I'm willing, you know, to learn. I think that as carers, we come into this with varied experiences and it is not always with a medical background. I think quite often it is not with a medical background and it can feel like we are being thrust onto some sort of alien planet where we do not understand the language, but we have this immense responsibility. It's really important right from the beginning of the care journey to be able to have those very important conversations, whether it's formal conversations or informal conversations, just to talk through exactly what the care plan will be like for the patient. Now, this would include, amongst other things, of course, it would include information. How does the carer get more information if he or she wants it? There is no such thing as a stupid question. You ask all of the questions and if the provider answers it and you don't understand it, ask them to explain it in a different way. If you're a visual learner, ask them to draw a picture. I know there are times that carers would feel that, oh no, I'm overburdening even the doctors or I'm asking too many questions about the medication. I'm sure this pharmacist thinks, why is she asking so many? No, we don't think that at all. We definitely understand because we like to think that we are all in a team and we need to constantly work together to ensure that the patient care journey, you know, ends in the most appropriate way possible given individual circumstances. Patients that the carer has to have with the provider, you, you have to come in prepared because I think in a lot of situations, you only have a certain amount of time with the provider and so being prepared for those conversations and knowing what your questions are and um, and being able to communicate them so that you can get the answers and the feedback that you need.